Molly, everybody! I'm Christina Gray, the MLA for Edmonton Melwoods and Alberta's Minister of Labor and Minister Responsible for Democratic Renewal. And I want to say thank you on behalf of Alberta's NDP Caucus for joining us here for this wonderful celebration. Now we are gathered here on traditional Treaty 6 territory and land that our Métis people share a very deep connection with. And it's important that we recognize that at the very beginning. And I want to start by saying thank you everyone who has come together to celebrate the Festival of Lights. Alberta's NDP caucus has had the pleasure of celebrating many cultural events here. And friends, we've got a very exciting program planned for you here tonight. To get us started, and to do Diwali correctly, I would like us to begin by the traditional lighting ceremony, as well as inviting the Premier to help with the Rangoli. So I'd like to invite our Premier Rachel Notley to come forward. And we'll have one up. So just up here. Lamps or dias adorn every corner of the houses on this very auspicious day and add brightness to the festive spirit. The dia represents knowledge, hope peace, happiness, prosperity, health, and truth. And so Rachel is going to be starting our celebration lighting the dia by lighting the wick on the lamp with the matchstick. And now we have Minister David Egan, MLA Rod Loyola, MLA Denise Woolard, and MLA Richard Fian have all come forward to help. And MLA Bob Turner. year and bring you prosperous journeys uh, and because of fire codes we may have to put that out so <laughs> but we got to light the lamp so that's wonderful secondly I would like to invite our premier Rachel Notley to help participate in an Indian folk art form called Rangoli traditionally meaning colorful patterns created on the floor with rice or powder so Rachel please go ahead and you are going to be guided in completing the decorative rangoli by painting in the design with the rangoli paste. Creating rangoli is a sign of good luck. Thank you very much. And now I know our Premier, Premier Rachel Motley, has a few words to say to us all, and so I'd like to invite her to come and share her greetings. Thank you. Thank you, Minister Gray, and welcome to everyone. Shuk Diwali, and, uh, and a lovely uh, Bundi Chor Divas to our sick friends. A big thanks to those beautiful performers who volunteer to light up the evening with their talent. And to everyone who had a hand in organizing today's beautiful celebration. You know, this kind of generosity goes to the very heart of this celebration of light and the values of Alberta's Hindu and Sikh communities, values which you cultivate like beautiful flowers all year long. Good, not evil. Respect, not hate. Knowledge, not ignorance. Albertans of the Hindu and Sikh faiths live by these beliefs. You speak out in their defense and put them to work in the world. You make Alberta a better place for everyone who calls it home, no matter what they believe, what color their skin is, or where they come from. I am proud to say that the government of Alberta stands with you. We want to make Alberta safer and fairer for everyone. So we're doing a few things to do that. We're confronting racism head on. But through the work of our Minister of Education, David Egan, we're setting up an anti-racism advisory council to advise us on how to fight discrimination throughout our province. And we're providing anti-racism community grants 
enabling anyone to take the initiative and do the same thing. We're also updating our school curriculum so students in every grade understand how important diversity is to our community and why it must be protected and celebrated. And we're doing more for newcomers and those who support them too. We've created a grant program to help employers hire and train immigrants, and we're improving the assessment of foreign credentials and qualifications. So people who've recently arrived here can get jobs that match their skills. Our goal is to make life both better and more affordable for all Albertans. That's why we've done things like freeze tuition, cut our school fees, and raised the minimum wage. And it's why we're continuing to make investments that create good jobs and keep our schools and our hospitals strong. Like building the Valley Line here in, uh, in uh, Edmonton, building a new hospital in South Edmonton, and building and upgrading 240 new schools across the province. My friends, our approach is working. Things are beginning to look up. Alberta leads the country in economic growth, but the recovery we know it hasn't completed until it reaches every family, every household, every kitchen table. So we will keep fighting for the things that matter to you and to your families, like schools, like roads, like hospitals. And the Trans Mountain Pipeline, that is a thing that we are going to keep fighting for too. Friends, this is not an easy road, but it is the right road. And we won't turn back, because growth isn't just about numbers. It's about dignity and fairness. It's about giving everyone the chance to become who and what they were meant to be. All of this is an echo of the values behind Diwali and Bundy Shore Divus. The same ones that inspire you, sorry about that. The same ones that inspire you to reach out to those in need and drive back the darkness with your own light. I am grateful for the strengths of your beliefs. As you and your families gather for the holidays, I wish you all the peace, comfort, and joy that they bring you. Thank you, and happy Diwali to everybody. Next, I would like to ask Archana Tiwari from the Bhartia Hindu Cultural Society to join me on stage to share why we celebrate Diwali, the Festival of Lights. Archana? Thank you. On behalf of Bharti Culture Society of Alberta and on behalf of all of us, I would like to extend our thanks to Premier Richard Nordley and Minister Christina Gray and NDP Caucus for inviting all of us to celebrate Diwali and Bandi Chor Divas. Truly, it is our honor and privilege that we are part of this event with all Albertans. Diwali, also known as Deepavali, is one of the most important, hugely awaited and immensely cherished a festival celebrated across the world. Originally, the name Deepavali, which has its origin from Sanskrit, meaning rose of thieves. The festival of Diwali is truly a festival of lights. Not only involves lightning of lamps, but it brings the light of happiness, togetherness, spiritual enlightenment and prosperity for everyone. Next, I would like to introduce Sangram Singh Sinda. Sangram will be sharing with us the history of the Sikh community celebrating Bandi Chor Divas. Sangram? The, the message behind this all was that freeing yourself out of the thoughts that create differences in the humanities, in the humanity, and keep and walk the path towards one. Usually the incident becomes history and we celebrate the day in its remembrance, but we should never forget the core lesson. And the core lesson out of this, as Guruji freed imprisoned kings, we need to free ourselves, our consciousness, 
from the shackle of our mind, unnecessary thoughts and stress, which we do practice at Gurdwara Sahib, Dharbar Shri Guru Granth Sahib, in the way of focus yoga congregation that helps in various ways and work as a miracle. Anyone is invited to be there, contact us to have that. Be part of the camp, meditation, focus yoga. And again, celebrating this day remind us how we can set ourselves free from the prison of our mind. Once we have learned this lesson and started practicing it every day, then every day will become Bandi Shor Divas, the day of liberation. And every day will be worth celebrating, every moment will be worth celebrating. Thank you all, and I appreciate the effort put on by the MLAs and the government. And I congratulate them, and I hope this will be celebrated on an even larger scale in coming future. Thank you very much, and have a good day. Thank you, Sangram. Yeah. 
Thank you so much, Akita. That was beautiful.
one more round of applause for all of our speakers and speakers. Friends, thank you so much for joining us for today's NDP Caucus Diwali celebration put on by myself. All we have reached the end of our official program, but the evening 